I'm a Linux kernel developer, live in Beijing, China. Uh, I work in labs, storage and network team. Uh, right now, I, I'm the kernel maintainer for MD Read, Device Mapper, Bcache, and MDM for SUSE kernel. And uh, the package maintainer for MDDM, uh, Bcache 2, and uh, PCM, the performance counter monitor. And also, I'm the upstream Bcache maintainer. So uh, this is a background of the, my talk. Uh, this is not uh, the, the idea of this talk is not new. Uh, in the indeed the first the first time I mentioned this was in 20, year 2020 for the Labs conference. At that time, I do a very rough uh, estimation to to evaluate the performance if I store the metadata on uh, MIDI, uh, what we can have. And uh, at that time, I found that it's good. The concept the concept is good uh, to implement. So the next year, I try to support to the Bcache to store the journal on, on MDM. And I, I find that uh, it's pretty good because I use uh, almost almost uh, five megabytes, just a five megabyte MDM space uh, to to store uh, to store the metadata for the four terabyte cache. I observe a five percent performance improve, so I continue this project. Uh, so, so this talk indeed is uh, uh, about the pro progress in this year. So, what it, what the talk is about? It's about a, a allocator, an MVM allocator called uh, NVMPG. That's a NVM pages allocator. Uh, it's a it's a body allocator, just to allocate the pages from MVM space. Uh, the the MVD, the device uh, in my talk just uh, specific to the Intel devices uh, called Intel Optin DCPM, the data center versus the memory. Uh, the, the product form is just like the, the memory D. And uh, I also mentioned the MVD namespace. The namespace uh, for MVD just like uh, a partition, the partition on the MVD region. Uh, it can present it like a block device, like a, a dev PBAM0 uh, by the internal PBAM driver. And uh, I can use the DAX interface to map the whole PBAM device into the kernel uh, linear address space, and I can access uh, the content with the memory interface. I mean, just uh, if I write to the memory uh, linear address, uh, the data just uh, goes into the MVD, the, the media. And uh, this talk is about uh, four things. The motivation, why we need it, why we need uh, a, a, a body-like uh, allocator, and uh, the implementation of this uh, allocator, and the method, how I use it in Bcache, and uh, the current achievement, uh, which we observed in the benchmark at this moment. Okay, the motivation. The motivation is just just about the cost, because uh, right now the the Intel uh, TCPM is still expensive, even after Intel announced that they stopped this uh, product line. And uh, from the Taobao, I I search that uh, for for 525 gigabyte DIM, the price is around 700 US dollar. Uh, comparing to the NVMe SSD, the list price is still very high. It's uh, around uh, 14 times expensive than the NVMe SSD. Uh, so maybe, maybe that that's one of the reasons why uh, the NVMe is not uh, very fast popular in the industry. Uh, to use it. Uh, so MVDM can be used in memory, but uh, in my talk, uh, in my proposal, I use it uh, as a block block device. To use it like a, as a block device, uh, it's too expensive to store all the data on it. Uh, that because the the, band, the bandwidth is uh, much more than the network bandwidth, so uh, it, it's not necessary to store all the data on very, very expensive media. 
But if we only uh, store the critical data like uh, metadata, uh, it's kind of too large indeed. It's kind of too large. Uh, for example, for Bcache, if, if the cache device is uh, four terabytes, uh, the metadata size, uh, including the journal plus B-tree, uh, it's it in the in in the worst time uh, in the worst cases, uh, it's around 100 gigabyte at most. And for MD read one, indeed, the 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 bitmap is just around several pages. At at most, it's just uh, 128 TB. So for a typical uh, medium. Uh, the DIM size is 128 gigabyte or, or 255 or 512. Uh, they're, they're, they're too large to use one DIM to dedicate device driver. It's too large, so uh, it's not so efficient. So the idea is uh, if we can share, we can share the expensive media among multiple device driver, so it can be more uh, cost efficiency. Uh, this is a demo that, uh, in for example, for the typical usage, we we use two we use two uh, SSD to combine a read one, and on top of the read one, we create a B cache cache device. That is to see that. Uh, if we use the static namespace for each device driver, in this case, for example, there, there are eight namespaces and uh, they are static. So we assign them to, uh, we assign four large namespaces to the Bcache and uh, four small one to the read one, uh, read one uh, bitmap. We can see that if some Bcache device is busy, they occupy uh, more data, cons consume more uh, medium space, but in the, some devices, they're, they're not so busy. So the, 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 the space consumption is not balanced. So some spare space cannot be used by other driver. So if we use the whole and the DIM devices like a pool, like a pool and a share, all the space among the multiple devices, then the, the usage can be more efficient. In, in this case, well, it's, it's more than 40% can still be allocated to other uh, drivers if they want it. So that's, that's the basic more efficient, um, the, the basic motivation why we want a allocate to, to we use the allocate to share the space to different user, to different requester. Uh, yeah, so uh, why we must need an allocator? Uh, the reason is uh, for different device driver, the, the requester size is different. So uh, uh, we 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 can't just design a, a unified uh, or very limited uh, number of unified uh, sizes for the requester. So uh, we want, if the requester want different size pages, for example, uh, from four uh, KB to even uh, gigabyte or even more continuous space. To allocate, we can all fit their requirement. So, uh, uh, the for the allocate itself, the 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 core algorithm that's very simple. Just a just a classical body system. Uh, just a, a, a different order. The list maintain the size for different order, and uh, request pages, free pages. That's all. The the tricky the tricky for a uh, non volunteer memory allocators are uh, if we allocate pages to to some users and they write data or metadata on the medium, 
on the NV memory. Uh, after the system reboot or the system crashed, all data is still there because they are non-volunteer. Uh, so uh, we, we, we can't assume the, like a, a DRAM allocate that uh, everything is empty after uh, a reboot. So we need to uh, restore, we need to uh, check which pages are allocated to some uh, request or users and uh, which pages are free that we can gather it back to the allocator to use for for the coming uh, request. So we need to check the owner for allocated pages after reboot. Uh, yeah, and uh, the, the, the second is uh, the tri trick is uh, we also we need to make sure the metadata of the allocate itself must be consistent or power failure tolerant after the system power failure or system crash. Uh, it's quite different than uh, the DRAM because uh, for the DRAM, we can organize all the content ready and flush it to the disk, to the hard drive or SSD. Uh, and we, we just make sure that uh, the whole things uh, are commit to the media and that's fine. But uh, for the MED, uh, the the minimize uh, unit is uh, is eight bytes, eight bytes, so that if we write data more than eight bytes, it, there's no sure that uh, the write is atomic. So so if we change something like a link list or a data structure more than eight bytes, we must need to make sure that uh, the metadata modification uh, should be consistent uh, anytime. We need we need something to make sure for that. And also, uh, we, even the MAD, the, the IO performance is very fast, uh, but we don't need a very fast allocate indeed. But, not like the uh, DRAM allocate. We, we just make sure that the performance is reasonable uh, as expected uh, and uh, should not be the bottom, uh, should not be the bottleneck of the overall uh, system performance. That's fine. We, we don't need the allocate itself to be extremely fast. It's unnecessary. So uh, by these uh, principles, uh, we implement the following data structure as the metadata of the MAD, uh, of the MAD uh, allocator, yeah, the MVMPG allocator. The first, of course, uh, we need a super block. We need a super block. The super block, uh, and uh, there is a link called a set header offset to the to a list of a set header. The set header, uh, there's an array of uh, headers, and uh, each header, uh, each header uh, list can be assigned to a user or requester. Uh, a user or requester uh, has a unique ID, UID, and we use this UID to identify uh, which pages uh, uh, are allocated for this specific user. And unlike uh, DRAM, uh, for the MAD pages, uh, we don't share. We don't share the pages among different users. So uh, every specific MAD pages, uh, they just are specific to a unique uh, user. And uh, for each user, for each user, uh, there is the structure called the BCH MVMG head. This head is an also another uh, array of uh, list heads. Uh, this array just uh, points to different uh, MED namespace because this allocator support to combine multiple MED uh, into one big MED set. So we can allocate MED pages, MED spaces uh, with the more the hardware. And the, the the real thing to record the allocation is in the record block list. This is a list, structure list. And for 
each structure inside there's array. The array in the, each element of this array record a piece of continuous pages allocated for a request. And uh, each request is uh, just uh, four bytes, uh, eight bytes, just eight bytes. Uh, so write or read or modification to a single uh, record is uh, atomic. So this is a whole hierarchy. And we, we, we can notice that uh, the link list, the link list here, they're all one direction. There's no uh, double direction link list. This is just a design uh, to, simply, to simplify the, the data consistency uh, to maintain the link list or MED. I call it, there is a question in the chat. Please. Uh, Yankara is asking, isn't the okay. atomicity let, let me, let me, of... Okay, let me read it. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, the question is, is it automatically to write actually one catch line? Uh, uh, yes, but uh, uh, I... If, uh, but I need to make sure that the object won't uh, go across a single catch line. So if uh, if I uh, if I just uh, make sure the just care about atomic for eight bytes, so I I don't need to care about whether uh, uh, the the object. Uh, we across uh, go across to catch line, but if uh, I take care, uh, uh, I take care for the memory object uh, more than eight bytes. So I I need to make sure I need to make sure the allocator uh, they won't allocate the 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 MED object, or I I want access the address across the the boundary of the catch line. So. So that needs extra work. And so I, I, I don't need to uh, introduce that trouble. Yeah. Because the allocator itself is quite simple. Uh, and uh, I, 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 yeah. OK, thank you. Thank you for the question. OK, I continue. Uh, OK, the implementation. Uh, here I, I introduce how I maintain uh, data consistency and uh, the operation atomic operation uh, for for each uh, allocate request I use a record called uh, called the structure BCH NVMe uh, rec to record this this area uh, it's a eight bytes uh, record. Uh, so uh, it just can be, uh, I just make sure it's uh, aligned every time for eight bytes and uh, delete a record. Uh, the delete uh, record means I just uh, flush eight zero bytes into this record. It's atomic. And uh, create a record, I just combine everything to the eight bytes in memory and uh, flush right the 8 byte memory into the MD line, uh, MD uh, media. And uh, for all the records in the array of one mm, BCH VMP, in the MPG rack structure, uh, they are not ordered. And uh, they are not uh, continuous one by one to start. So there is hope, there is hope inside this error. And uh, every time when I read it from the uh, MAD, if I want, if I need, I, I, I should do the sort in the memory. But uh, most of the time, I, I find in practice it's, it's unnecessary. Uh, and uh, so if uh, we find that there is an empty record, just uh, skip it. Uh, and if we, we need to uh, allocate a record for a new uh, 
allocation, we just find the first free slot and uh, use it. That's fine. Just, just that. And uh, if one record block is full, all we need to, uh, and then we need to allocate another uh, re uh, record block uh, and insert it into the link list. Uh, that that should be uh, a, a single direction, yeah. And uh, for the in the practice, uh, we we find a uh, for journal for demo for journal. Even the journal space is uh, five hundred more than five hundred megabytes. Only one record is enough uh, because uh, the, the the eight bytes record may represent that uh, the order that uh, the max the order number uh, it's uh, the, the width is uh, six bits so six bits that's that's a lot that's uh, 63 63 so a single record can represent uh, a two order of uh, 63 continuous pages so that's a lot yeah so even we look at the structure it's maybe it's kind of uh, complicated but uh, in practice in when we uh, write the program and I find uh, the, the allocation for the continuous uh, space is quite limited. Yeah. So uh, they are not performance bottleneck. And uh, yeah, and the link list. Uh, there are some quite uh, sophisticated program model to maintain a link list, but we don't use that uh, just for the uh, simplicity uh, because we allocate the space for metadata and the metadata modification is not so frequent like uh, normal data. And uh, we normally we allocate a large piece of meeting spaces for the metadata so the performance is really not so critical. Uh, a single direction a point to, to a point to maintain a single direction link list, that's enough and it works fine uh, during the performance benchmark. That's a, if we want to insert a node to the link list, it only happen on the tail of the list. So uh, we just modify the the the, the point called the uh, uh, next next offsite. Just modify this pointer uh, to point to the offsite of the next new added nodes. That's enough, because this pointer uh, is uh, eight bytes, so it's uh, atomic. And uh, if we need to delete a object from the link list. Uh, we need two steps. The first thing is uh, we need to uh, empty the head offset to zero bytes. Uh, th this uh, pointer is uh, it's eight bytes, so we need to flush all the eight bytes to zero because uh, the head offset the head offset point back to the offset of the head. The header means uh, the uh, the header maintains the uh, information for the unique requester. So definitely it won't be zero. So if we find a structure uh, whose uh, head offset offset is a zero, that means uh, it's invalid. It's uh, deleted. So after we set this offset to zero, and then we modify the pointers. We modify the next pointer from the previous node uh, to point to the next uh, object that current deleting uh, object points to. So because uh, this is a two steps operation. So if power failure happens between the two uh, operations, then after the reboot, we find we find that uh, this object, the header of set is a zero, but it's in the link list. That means uh, 
it's deleted already, but uh, not removed from the linked list yet. So we just uh, remove it. And, and the, the remove is uh, atomic, so it, it's fine, yeah. Uh, so this is how we uh, avoid the undefined uh, state to maintain a uh, linked list. And for the for the body system itself, the body list, the body list is not maintained in the memory uh, in MDM. Uh, all the body list information uh, we organize and build that in the DRAM. Uh, so every time we scan the who who uh, record list, this one, we scan the whole hierarchy to find uh, which pages are allocated out and uh, which pages are not. And then we just uh, gather all the free pages back to the body list every time. Yeah. And uh, for uh, all the metadata on the, on the MD, just uh, this hierarchy. And uh, to use the allocator, we need some uh, API. And uh, the API is quite simple, just like the body system. Uh, for the MVD pages allocation, we need a uh, BCH underscore NVMPG underscore lock underscore pages. There are two parameters. One is order, one is UID. Uh, unlike uh, the DRAM body system, we need an extra parameter UID. The UID to tell the uh, to tell the allocator uh, which user is requesting the new pages from MED and uh, record this uh, space into a record into the uh, record block list and uh, register it and there is the the whole list of this specific UID yeah. the order order just the, the the order in the body system. To free to free the pages, uh, we need a, a we we call it, uh, we call bch underscore vm pg underscore free underscore pages, and uh, two we use two parameters. One is vm pg offset, uh, or three. One is order, and one is uid. Yeah. The uid just uh, uh, use it to, to to iterate all the uh, allocation list. To, and uh, remove that record, remove that eight bytes record line from a record blocks. And uh, the MVMPG offset uh, is, is the offsite where the continuous pages are allocated on the MVD. And uh, also after the system reboot, we need to find uh, which MVD pages were already allocated for a specific driver. So we need uh, another uh, function called the BCH underscore get underscore NVM PG underscore head. And uh, the parameter is the UID. Uh, we send the UID into the allocator and the allocator just return uh, the head of the whole record block list. So the driver, because the, because the driver uh, allocate the pages. So the driver know how to identify uh, each pages inside the list. So uh, he, uh, the, the driver can just uh, iterate the whole list and identify uh, which part uh, belongs to uh, which kind of metadata. All the, these things should be handled by the driver itself. So the allocator just uh, uh, give the head of the record list. the just the major api just uh, this three and uh, yeah that's that's enough almost and uh, also i when i when i when i when i mentioned the uh, allocate or free the spaces uh i i use uh, the nvmpg offset uh not not uh, not uh, the the absolute 
not the absolute um, address, linear, linear space address. Uh, that, that's what I learned from practice that uh, allocate relative offsite and uh, store that into the data structure. Do not use absolute linear address for emitting pages. The reason is uh, after every time the system reboot, it's possible. Even the chance is very rare. It, it is possible that the mapping relationship changes, uh, maybe among different version of kernel uh, and uh, with the different behavior of the PMAP drive. So the the absolute address of yeah. the 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 previous allocated uh, meeting pages may change. May change. So if I use the absolute the absolute address. Maybe uh, it will be invalid after next reboot. So definitely, I need to use uh, an offset. The offset is uh, in in this format. Uh, the the harvest the harvest uh, three bits I use to identify. Uh, um, sorry, we cannot see your slides anymore. Oops. Okay. Let let me let me share again. Can you see it right now? Yes, thank you. OK, OK, OK. Uh, so uh, the Harris uh, three bits identify uh, which namespace this uh, space is allocated on. So uh, at most, uh, we can combine eight. We can combine eight namespace together for a allocated. And the rested uh, 60, uh, 61 bits just to identify the, the offsite inside a specific uh, namespace where the data is allocated. So, so within this, uh, every time uh, after the system boot up and we can check the, the base address, the base linear address uh, where this namespace is mapped into the kernel address space. And then we can use the, the namespace index to find that base linear address and the plus the offsite. Then we got a absolute linear address to use for this time. So yeah, so we, we when when we store the address uh, in the metadata, we, we use offsite, not absolute uh, address. And uh, to make things easier, we use two uh, helper routing, one is BCH underscore MBMPG underscore offset underscore two underscore PDR. That means uh, the input is a MVMPG offsite. The output is a point that I can use directly uh, to access the memory as a kernel line address. Another one is uh, if I want to store a address that I, I, I need to convert it from the the kernel line address to a MVMPG offset. I use the BCH underscore MVMPG underscore PTR underscore two underscore offset. So the input is the the is the namespace uh, pointer and uh, the the data uh, and the data pointer and in the, the output is the offset. Okay, I got it. Uh, so. Uh, now let me introduce uh, how I use it inside Bcache. Uh, for Bcache, we store two kinds of metadata on the MVD. One is journal. The journal, uh, even the journal uh, is uh, multiple emitting pages, but uh, it's continuous. So we just uh, allocate one continuous uh, space for 500 megabyte from the allocate, and that's fine. That's fine. We just use the Allocate pages to allocate the pages. Yeah, if we don't use it, we 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 call the uh, free pages to free it back to the allocator. And uh, this one is uh, static. And we uh, the, the dynamic part is the B tree node. Uh, we uh, I also uh, store the the B cache B tree node. The B tree B tree is used to index the cache data with whether it is cached or not cached. Uh, here is the structure of the B-tree node. And uh, here, 
is the hierarchy of the B tree, the B plus tree, and uh, the root of the B plus tree, the root node of the B plus tree, it is stored in a journal and not in a super block, it's in a journal. So every time uh, when I uh, read the journal space from the MED and uh, find the root uh, node outside of the root node of the B tree, and I access the root node, then the, the whole B tree is there. I can just uh, iterate it, access it, just that easy. And uh, uh, there's one thing is uh, how to flush the B tree node to the MAD. Uh, that's uh, uh, that is the 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 B key. Each B key is combined uh, into a B key set. And every time when the B key set is organized in the memory, we flush that into the MAD. And for every B uh, B key set, there's a checksum. So if the the right is uh, the failure and the checksum is corrupted. So we just uh, skip, ignore that that B, B key set. But if uh, a whole between node, there's no one B tree set, that's problem, that's invalid. So we just uh, stop everything and quit. Yeah, just uh, this is how I use it. And the benchmark, the benchmark is uh, pretty good. Uh, I mean, uh, much beyond my expectation. Uh, the the Linux one is uh, store the B, B cache metadata on SSD, and uh, the dark uh, and the, the dark green one is I store the metadata on meeting pages. We can see the latency uh, latency distribution. That is uh, uh, the the I O with the best latency. That's uh, 50, uh, 50 microseconds. Increased from uh, six, 66 percentage to 90 percentage. That means that the long tail latency IOs uh, improved quite a lot. And uh, even the cache device is a four terabyte, four terabyte, only 100 gigabyte uh, space from the MED consumed. So that's a big bargain. That's a really big bargain. And uh, let me mention what we learned. It's simple that uh, don't treat the the the, the opt-in memory as memory. Even the, it is called memory, but don't treat it as memory. That's block device. I encounter many unnecessary prob uh, problem or difficulty because at the very beginning I treat it as memory. Uh, after one year, I learned it's not memory, just a block device. And uh, another one is don't trust too much the on website document because they can change, they can modify, they can delete. For example, sometimes when I want to uh, share my opinion with someone for the performance of the MED uh, devices, uh, I find the, that page is deleted from the Intel website. So before we access the real hardware, don't trust the material. And uh, the last one is a proper use case. It's very necessary. And uh, for example, for these cases, we, we share the MED spaces among multiple drivers and uh, the drivers can use uh, the MED, the very fast MED storage uh, to store their metadata and we can achieve a very good uh, impo performance improvement. And uh, to do list in the short term, uh, I need to finish uh, the, okay, I got it, five minutes. Uh, I need to finish the, the development and uh, in the, find some user to, to evaluate in the production environment. And in the long term, I need to support uh, MD read one and read five. But the, the, the unfortunately, Intel not to stop the, uh, the product line. So uh, I need to continue to support the CXL memory mode. Uh, fortunately, the PMAM supported there. And uh, I don't know when I can access the real hardware. So the credit, uh, the work is a re result of collaboration. So uh, it's for many years, and especially I need to thanks for people from Lenovo, from Intel, and my colleague uh, like uh, Michael Hoko, Yankara, Hannes uh, Rinicki. They give me quite a lot of uh, very instructive uh, suggestions. Okay. <laughs> Question, please. Thank you all for coming. Thank you.
leaving the generation that you added to the drivers. Oh yeah, uh, for the this you uh, this UID is the UID of the allocator, not the UID of the Bcash. So uh, th th there's no generation. There's no generation. Yeah, Oliver Newcomb. Yeah. The, the UID in the AVMPG allocate, allocator is used to track which uh, pages uh, are allocated to which requester after the reboot. And indeed, the, the most of the time we just add it uh, to, to, rec to, to insert a record to the list. And the next time use it, just a reboot and the initiate the allocator just that's all we we, we there's no invalidity by increase the generation like a like a bcash okay let me check uh Jimani is a page allocated but you also seen shouldn't be treated as a memory your page oh yeah 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 uh uh yeah because uh we that that's a uh, policy explain that because we use the memory interface to access the device. Uh, every time we map the, the whole device address into the kernel uh, space and uh, just access it by point, by a pointer to some address and then write to the address and just data goes into the MVD. So that's uh, pages, yes. but. The problem is uh, we can't really treat it as a memory uh, to, to, to do complicated uh, operation like uh, uh, update pointers or modify a member of a large uh, memory object because they are all not uh, atomic. So we, we can't really treat it as memory. Uh, must be use it like a uh, like a block device, but when we access it, we use the memory interface. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, Oliver Newcomb, so each driver has to have a static UID to use the allocator. Yes, each driver need need a, a device driver uh, need a unique UID because the next time after the system reboot, uh, the driver need to find the bike all the pages allocated for him previously. So he need to send into the allocate a unique ID and then he get a list for all the previous allocated pages. Then the driver, it's, it's the duty of the driver to, to, to find which part uh, to use for which purpose. But the allocator just return all the pages you requested the last time. Yeah. Uh, Martin Wilk, can MVDM devices be shared between the allocate and other user? Uh, I, I, I don't understand the question, uh, but I, I think it, if other user uh, do, do you mean reserve the space? Uh, for the usage for other user, because if the other user want to use the space, it, it, it can just call the, the API to alloc to request emitting pages. Uh, oh, I, I I don't know whether I understand the question properly. Uh, so we are about to the end of our time. So maybe you can answer this last question from Giovanni, and then we okay. can uh, okay. stop the recording. Intel queued the Optin project. They're not selling them anymore. Is the whole MD market disappeared? This is this is a really a, a question that I, I don't understand. And I, I don't mean this question. I mean, uh, why they stop it uh, from Intel? Because uh, for China, I see many, even the very big user, uh, for example, uh, China Unicom, they want to test, they want to test, they want to evaluate uh, the hardware. I, I think the problem is that it's, it's quite late for users to access the hardware. For, for example, for me, even I'm a developer, 
I have I, I can talk the, the MAD hardware uh, three years ago. So uh, it's quite late for for user to access the hardware. So it's not it's not about time to 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 judge the the, the market is no hope. So it's pity. It's a pity they stopped uh, the product line. And for me, that uh, for the interface, uh, we can use the CXL dot memory. That's fine. But for me, the problem is that the high performance media, the the 3D X point and the media. If they stop this one, I don't know when uh, the next candidate can show up in the market that have such a high performance. 